Hello everyone. Today we're reading Last One In is a Rotten Egg by Leonard Kessler. What a hot day, said Bobby. It is too hot to play ball. It is too hot to run. It is too hot to ride a bike. It is too hot to do anything, said Willie. It is not too hot to go swimming, said Bobby. Yes, let's go swimming, said Willie. I'll go home and ask my mother, said Bobby. Me too, said Willie. Meet you here in five minutes. Both of their mothers said yes. Now don't forget to take your swimming trunks, Willie, his mother joked. On the way to the city pool, Bobby and Willie met Freddy. He was sitting on the steps of his house. He looked hot. Hey, Freddy, we are going swimming. Want to come too? I will ask my mother, said Freddy. You may go swimming, said his mother, but remember that you are not a deep water swimmer yet. Just stay in the shallow water. I will stay in the shallow water, said Freddy. He ran out of the house. I can go, he shouted. Great, said Willie, let's go. When they got to the locker room, they put on their swimming trunks. They took a fast shower and ran out to the pool. Hey fellows, no running, yelled Tom the lifeguard. You know the rules. They looked at the list of rules. Rules of the pool. No running or pushing. No fooling around. No food near the pool. Stay out of the water right after eating. Girls must wear bathing caps. No one in the pool when lifeguard is not on duty. Look before you dive. No swimming in front of diving board. Only deep water swimmers can swim in deep water. Be careful. Don't be sorry. Tom. Okay, said Willie. Who's going in first? He dipped his foot into the water. Yikes, it's cold, he yelled. Bobby jumped into the deep water. Last one in is a rotten egg. He yelled. Not me, said Willie. He jumped into the deep water. I guess I am the rotten egg, said Freddy. I cannot go in the deep water. He walked down to the other end of the pool and jumped into the shallow water. Hey, look at me. I'm a whale, said Willie. Hey, look at me. I'm a submarine, said Bobby. Look at me, yelled Willie. Look at this big splash. Splash. Want to see a really big splash? yelled Bobby. Splash! That was good, said Freddy. I wish I could do that. Let's play, let's play tag, said Bobby. Freddy is it. Oh, that's not fair, said Freddy. I cannot swim in the deep water. I will be it all day. Okay, said Willie. We will do something else. Two girls swam by. Do you boys want to race us? the girls asked. Oh, come on now, said Willie. We don't want to beat you girls in a race. Yes, said Bobby. We will win, and then you will cry. No, we won't. Let's race, said the girls. Okay, you asked for it, said Bobby. Freddy was the starter. Ready? Get set? Go! Willie swam fast. Bobby swam fast. But the two girls swam faster. They beat the boys by three feet. Do you want to race again? asked the girls. Not today, said Willie. Bobby and I are too tired from all that diving. We'll race you another day. Those girls are really fast swimmers, said Willie. But we are better divers, said Bobby. Freddy watched them dive. He sat by the side of the pool, with his feet in the deep water. One day I will be a good diver too, he said very softly. Across the pool, two big boys were fooling around. They were pushing the little kids into the water. Suddenly, the boys came up behind Freddy. In you go, they yelled. They pushed him into the pool. Freddy fell into the deep water. Down, down, down he went. He came up to the top, then he sank down, down again. He opened his mouth to yell for help, but he only swallowed more water. He reached out, and there was a hand grabbing his. It was Tom the lifeguard. Tom pulled Freddy out. 
Freddy sat down on the bench. He was full of water. He coughed. What are you trying to do? Drink all the water in the pool? Tom made a little joke, but it was no joke to Freddy. He felt terrible. He wanted to cry, but he did not want Willie or Bobby to see him cry. He sat and shook. He was cold. As they walked home, Bobby said, I just hope we find those two boys who pushed Freddy into the pool. Let's go swimming again tomorrow, said Willie. I will see how I feel, said Freddy. The next day, Bobby and Willie stopped at Freddy's house. Let's go swimming, said Willie. I can't, said Freddy. I'm sick. What's the matter, asked Bobby. I have a bad cold, said Freddy. You don't look very sick, said Bobby. We will see you tomorrow. Hope you feel better. The next day, they were back again. How is your cold today, they asked. It's all better, said Freddy. Then let's go swimming, said Willie. I can't go swimming. I hurt my leg, said Freddy. Freddy's mother was looking out of the window. Why don't you go swimming with Willie and Bobby, she called. My leg hurts, said Freddy. I think the water will make your leg feel better, she said. And maybe you can learn how to swim in the deep water. I'm sure that Tom will help you. Well, I will go, said Freddy. But I don't know how I can swim with my sore leg. Hi, Freddy, said Tom. It's good to see you back. Now don't drink up all, that, all the water. Freddy laughed. I want to learn to swim in the deep water, he said. Can you teach me how? Jump in, said Tom. Show me how you swim. Freddy swam. You are splashing too much. Easy does it. Let's learn to swim the right way, said Tom. First, we will work on your breathing. Blow bubbles, said Tom. Freddy did it. That's good, said Tom. Now let's learn how to float. Don't worry, he said. I will not let you go under. Soon, Freddy could float all by himself. Now I want you to kick like this. And move your arms like this. You try it, said Tom. Freddy did what Tom told him to do. That's a little better, said Tom. Work on these things every day, and you will be in the deep water very soon. You kick very well for a boy with a sore leg, said Bobby. It is much better now, said Freddy. He smiled. Freddy worked hard. Every day he did this. He learned how to tread water. He kept getting better. Today, let's try swimming in the deep water, said Tom. Freddy's going to swim in the deep water, yelled Bobby. Good boy, Freddy. You will make it, said Willie. Freddy jumped in. He swam and swam and swam to the other side of the pool. I did it! I did it! I can swim in the deep water! You are a good swimmer now, said Tom. Hey, let's swim, said Willie. He jumped into the deep water. Look at me! I'm a cannonball, he shouted. Look at me! I'm a big fish, yelled Freddy. Hey, look over there, said Bobby. Those are the two guys who pushed Freddy into the pool. The two boys were at it again. They were pushing the little kids into the pool. Freddy got out of the pool. Hey, you two, yelled Freddy. Just stop it. Are you talking to us? They asked. Yes, said Freddy. Just stop what you're doing. They looked at Freddy and laughed. Are you going to stop us? Yes, he's going to stop you, said Willie. He sure is, said Bobby. And I'm going to stop you too, said Tom. Get out and do not come back until you can follow the rules. Last one in is a rotten egg, said Freddy. Not me, yelled Willie. Not me, yelled Bobby. They all jumped into the water at the same time. They all came up at the same time. Well, said Freddy, there are no rotten eggs here. And that was Last One In is a Rotten Egg by Leonard Kessler. I hope you liked it.